Hi, I'm Jesus, and this video is about how CSGO is, well, running out of skins. Now, I don't mean every skin. Some skins aren't in danger of running out at all, but there are a couple of key exceptions, and those exceptions happen to be a specific group of skins which are forcing up the price of the vast majority of the popular skins in the game, and it's going to be getting worse before it gets better. Now, before I go any further, I just want to mention that I'm giving away a Wild Dilly with CS Money. Link for that is in the pinned comment below, and lately, people have been getting a bit excited around the prices of some certain CSGO skins, specifically the Operation Shattered Web skin collections. Things are going a little bit crazy there. Now, in the past, the best time to buy Operation skins was when the Operation was coming to an end. Prices would be at their absolute lowest. These days though, people have been literally tripping over themselves trying to buy this stuff before Operation Shattered Web wraps up. Take the Norse Collection for example, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's the Mjolnir, or the Jormungandr, or the shit tier Frostbore, they've all got a pretty steep price incline, and that's despite the fact that these things have been dropping the entire time. There's more and more of them, but their prices are still going up, and don't get me started on that bloody Gungnir. Now, believe it or not, these aren't the skins that we're running out of. I mean, for the time being, they're actually completely replaceable. You can literally print them if you want to by buying stars. They're available on demand and on the basis of payment to Lord Gaben. Oh god damn it, it's fucking battle scarred. Now, if the idea of forking out $4,000 dues for a factory new Orp Gungnir doesn't appeal to you, and surprise surprise, it doesn't appeal to a lot of people, there is another option. You can use the trade-up contract like Sparkles is doing here, and with a bit of luck, you can save yourself quite a bit of money. This trade-up probably only cost him about $1,000, so that's a clean $3,000 picked up on the Gungnir, rough estimates anyway. But th let's just scroll back to the trade-up he's doing here for a second, and you'll notice some very peculiar skins being used in the trade-up contract, particularly these things, the Desert Eagle Hypnotics and the Cold Blooded. Now, these are being used as filler to try and minimize Sparkle's costs and maximize the chance he'll get something good. And there's a very specific reason he's going for these skins rather than say a much cheaper $6.50 Stymphalion or a $7.40 Leaded Glass. You see, trade-up contracts are racist. They discriminate against some skins. They don't like to spit them out of a trade-up contract. Basically, the more possible skins you can get from a collection, the more likely a trade-up contract is to pick a skin from that collection. So, if we just look at the skins I mentioned earlier, you'll notice that the Cold-Blooded and the Hypnotic both only have one possible outcome. The Stymphalian and the Leaded Glass have two. So, naturally, Sparkles packed his trade-up contract with the Hypnotic and the Cold-Blooded to maximize his chances, which has paid off. But He's not the only one with that idea. A lot of other people have gotten that idea as well, considering how insane the prices of Covert Shattered Web skins have been getting. And that's a bit of a problem for skins like the Cold-Blooded and the Hypnotic, because they're old skins from shitty cases that no one opens anymore. Basically, there aren't that many of them being unboxed these days. So if people are using them all in trade-up contracts, well, we're going to start to run out of them, and you can see that's what's happened in the prices of these skins after the operation started. Look at that! Look at that! Look what's happened to the price! They're being used in trade-up contracts like crazy, and because they're not being replaced, the prices just keep going up. We're literally running out of this essential ingredient in high-end, high-risk trade-up contracts. And it's not just these two skins either, there's a whole suite of classified skins with exactly the same properties, only one covert skin above them, and all from old, shitty cases that no one opens. And they're being affected in exactly the same way, their prices are just going nuts. And it goes further than just these classified skins, because if you're trying to trade up for a Mjolnir, or a Wild Dilly, or a Cinquita, there's really only one viable input you can use as filler to try and make your trade up contract cheaper, for essentially the same reasons as before. And that's the P2000 Amber Fade. And again, 
they've gotten a lot more expensive since the operation started. Not as bad as skins like the Cold Blooded and the Hypnotic, these things still drop in game at a decent rate, but not fast enough apparently, uh, judging by how much more expensive they've gotten. And again, if you want to trade up for restricted Operation Shattered Web skins, let's say the Yormander skins from the Norse Collection, well there's a few specific skins you'll need to use as filler if you want to make it worth your while, like I'm doing here. Fuck. But, but anyway, these skins as well, here's a few examples of them, they've been getting much more expensive too. Prices, again, are going nuts. And if you wanted to trade up for Millspec Operation Shattered Web skins, such as these skins from the St. Mark Collection, uh, once more, there's only really a few viable skins you can use as filler to get your prices down and to give you, you know, any chance of making money. Um, all these skins are from the Train Collection, and do you want to guess? What's been happening to their prices recently? I think you can probably guess. I think you've seen it already. And this all actually matters, even though these are, you know, old, shitty, crappy skins from old collections and old cases, because they're used all the time to try and make trading up for a lot of very desirable skins cheaper because of their various characteristics. And in this sense, they actually help keep the prices of a lot of other skins down. And currently, we're using them up a hell of a lot faster than they're being replaced. There's a, a limited supply and we're burning through them faster than a bushfire in an Australian summer. And it's gonna take a long time for the prices to come back down if they ever even do. And in the meantime, this is going to be making a lot of CSGO skins even more expensive than they already are. And if you're wondering why the fuck any of this is happening in the first place, well, I'll let Chairman Z explain. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, so, sorry, we, we, we got to move on, sir. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. The mystery comment is from Gaming Crunch. He says, the Doctor is a crackhead version of Papa Anomaly. D does that imply that all Papa Anomaly has to do is paint crack to get back the vigor of a younger man? I I don't know guys, uh, opinions, but anyway, as always, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus, thanks for watching, see ya.